Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am Mr. Photographer.com. Those of you that are familiar with Denoise AI know that it is most often used as a plugin in Lightroom and Photoshop. It also works as a plugin in Topaz Studio. Whenever you use Denoise AI as a plugin, you're not actually working on the actual raw file. You're working on, in most cases, a TIFF file. So, for example, if you have a raw file in Lightroom and you want to remove noise and you send it over to Denoise, it doesn't send the raw file. Lightroom creates most often a TIFF file that gets edited and then that TIFF file returns to Lightroom. Same thing happens in Photoshop after you save it or in uh, Topaz Studio. And recently, um, you know, Skylum Software came out with Luminar AI and they removed support for Denoise AI Direct. So it's difficult to use Denoise AI with Luminar AI. Uh, you can use Denoise AI with On One Photo Raw 2021, but you have to use it as an external application. And again, you're not editing the actual raw file, you're editing a TIFF or PSD. The advantage of using Denoise AI as a standalone application is that you're going to edit the raw file directly and you could save it as a raw file. This would help many people who are using Luminar AI and want to use Denoise. What you can do is instead of directly bringing your images from your memory card of your camera into Luminar AI, first bring them into Denoise remove the noise, save those raw files, then import those raw files into Luminar AI. It's a kind of a workaround, but it is a workflow that will um, work with Luminar AI. And if you have an important photo shoot, let's say you use Lightroom and it has, you know, you had to shoot at a higher ISO and you want to remove noise and you want to do it to the raw file, send those images into uh, Denoise AI first, then import them into uh, Lightroom. Now I'm going to show you how it will edit a raw file. I have, as you can see, Denoise AI open. I'm going to click on Browse, and on my desktop I have a single raw file. It will do multiple at the same time, so if you had a bunch you could load them all in, but I'm going to load in the single one, and you'll see that it will load, and it. I have it set up uh, with the four uh, view mode so that I could see the three different AI modes all at the same time. Uh, this is the original unedited full noise image. Next to it is the denoise AI mode. Below left is the AI clear mode and below right is the low light mode. Now let's just say that I like the denoise AI mode right right out of the bat. All right let's just say I like that. I could click save image and you'll get this box. You could do two different things. You could preserve source format. Now this was a Nikon RAW file. It's a .NEC file. Now it's not going to save it as a .NEC file. It's going to save it as a DNG. Uh, you also could just save it directly as a DNG right here. So either or, you're going to get a DNG uh, no matter what your RAW format is. So if you're using a Sony, Canon, whatever, you're going to end up saving it when you use preserve source format. You're going to save it as a DNG. I'm going to save it with this file name. I'll leave that and I'll save it to the desktop and I'll just click save. Now again, um, because you could load more than one image at a time, you would load a bunch in, let's say, from your photo shoot. You would go through each one, remove the noise, set the sliders the way you want, use the uh, AI mode you want for each different image, save them all as DNG files, and then once you do that, uh, you'll have a DNG file, which is the image with the noise removed. Um, I have my computer set up so that if I open a RAW file, a DNG file, it opens up into Photoshop, Adobe Camera Raw. So I could then do editing here, or I could import this into Lightroom. It's a full RAW file, so I could come in and do any edits I need to do on a RAW file. So that's the advantage of using Denoise AI as a standalone product, not as a plugin. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.